one. We'll start with the bubbles to start off with. The Aussie is strongest and the Swiss franc is the weakest. So potentially speaking, you could look at Aussie, Swiss for a buy. Uh, pound is also um, in the strong buy section and so is CAD. The Kiwi, Yen and Gold are in the strong sell. However, however uh, we have the CPI data on Wednesday and I think what they're doing, when I say they, I mean the banks and institutions, they're pumping price on gold and it's going to throw it to dump on Wednesday in order to get a good price to sell, I believe, uh, because I think this is going to suffer a lot on Wednesday. So even though it's a sell, it could just be going up because it's been like front run for Wednesday. And uh, these bubbles are correct because what's happening is that they're long and they're adding long so therefore we should see poor performance a small bubble indicates poor performance right uh, that's actually being naughty and uh, that could be larger and these could be larger so it looks like it's sort of wait and see at the moment but they're correct sizes because the retail guys are long already and they're buying so therefore the bubble should be small right <laughs> Uh, so just bear that in mind. Now, Euro USD is interesting because they're shorting it, but yet price is coming down. So it's a little bit of a payday for the last eight hours for uh, the bears. And your monthly pivot is at 113.31. Um, ADR low there, you can see we're dead in between. The SLC above is 113.95, and one below is 112.84. This is the largest stop loss cluster. And because they shorted it, we should probably be getting support off monthly pivot. Uh, we are a sell at the high level, but dynamically, it's actually a buy over time. All right, so let's have a look at the dollar index. Well, that, well so we escaped pitchfork. Uh, five minute chart. <laughs> let's have a look. At, all right, that's probably better, isn't it? Um, so we're having some support off the uh, 61.8, and we've got median line. Let me get rid of that. Don't need that at the moment. Um, yes, yeah, so we've got an ABCD support, and this is going to remain true as long as um, that bottom holds. This is the harmonic support, and this is the B support. So, put a, um, an alert on Trading View for ninety five fifty six. If you breach that, then the Euro USD and the Pound USD they can do quite well. But we have currently got support on the dollar index. Um, so resistance at 95.97. And inevitably we'll probably break this pitchfork, to be honest. And um, a strange line. Let's put that down there, maybe. So that's that now. So we're going to have resistance here and resistance here. Okay. Um, so that's that. Um, yeah, that's, so I think maybe we'll get support off that. But if we look at the Dixie... You know we're quite well supported, aren't we? So maybe down back down to the median line, maybe bounce. Um, but yeah, they did sell it, so uh, we should maybe have support off the uh, monthly pivot. We've got a volume node there as well at 113.27, so a bit of a confluence uh, layer there. Um, pound this was very, very strong uh, last week. And we'll have a look at it now. Yes, we're still on that tear, aren't we? There's monthly pivot there, so we don't have to worry about breaking that for now. The SLC above, 13608, 13565. We are a buy, and um, they shorted it, like the USD. It's lower volumes, and there's a volume node of interest down there, which they obviously stepped in. Maybe it was like a break somewhere. Maybe, I don't know why their volume node was there, but interested it just happened there um so that's that so um it's got the dollar swiss this was above monthly pivot i assume it is still now the fxcm clients are very long this pair so it could fall um we are at a sell here and they're going long so really it should be coming down um uh, monthly resistance one 92.39 your monthly pivot is at 91.70 the SLC below is 9170, so there's a confluence. Potentially come down and get that. Um, the SLC above is 9250. Volume node there too, 9174. So there's three things there uh, worth noting. 
uh, Aussie. Oops. And uh, the Euro Oz looks quite heavy. And because of that, I think we're going to be uh, risk on today. So SFC 7201, 7160, monthly pivot 7182. Um, we are sell, and it's a little bit sideways sideways and they shorted it but then it's like sideways a little bit again um, so yeah if we go below monthly pivot we'll target the SLC and I think we could potentially get that we're quite close we're like less than 10 pips away so we maybe will have like a surge at the London Open grab that liquidity got resistance overhead grab that SLC and down we come break monthly pivot and get that SLC as well and there's a, a volume node at ADR high at 72.28, so uh, that would be a resistance, right? Um, AJ, and uh, if you need me to do any pairs, like I always say, just let me know. That level there, it's come from over here. What is that? Okay, so it's saying this, uh, that's probably what it is. This is the um, support or resistance. There's quite a few touches there. That's probably what it, why it's forecast that. This is the FX um, SSI support and resistance indicator. So it's saying that 83.22 is a support and it could be a resistance. Monthly pivot's there. Um, SSC above, 83.71, 82.63, we are buy. Monthly pivot's there. So um, potentially it could be a good buy up to ADR high and get that SSC. Uh, 0.61, so it's quite small. They're quite small stop loss clusters. Um, Euro yen, maybe. And I'll show you Oz, uh, Euro Oz. Uh, Euro yen, the SLC, they're close. Um, 13145 and 13109. The SLCs are quite similar in size, and there's a big, big volume node down there. Uh, so they stepped in and bought there. <laughs> so they, they did quite well um, and you see that their uh, sentiment went in decline so they sold it and then the big boys with their you know their big pockets they've stepped in where did they step in there so they didn't wait for the 50% line they, they they got in earlier it's interesting uh, so that's that so we are a buy and the stop loss clusters are close our values are there monthly resistance is up there um, dollar yen. I'm just cho choosing these just randomly, and just what does I'm gonna look. Just wanna try and get, give you guys a good heads up. Um, MR1, which I said was be likely. You know, we're above monthly pivot because we're above MP. We should target resistance. When we're below MP, we should target support. All right, just keep it nice and simple. Oh, this is MP here. So this is this was monthly pivot. This is the new monthly pivot. Uh, SOC. 116.10, so we're 30 pips away. On below is 115.5. We are by very, very skewed. Uh, so um, eventually it will run stops and then you know it will reverse. So uh, potentially up there, 116.40, so 60 pips away. Potentially, you'll probably get that liquidity and then dump. Um, what else? Oh, yeah, you're at Oz. Now, this is falling. Because if this is fallen, we could be risk on, which m would make sense because you know we are risk on on the risk calculation. Uh, let's have a look. Maybe there could be a good support. This is going to be resistance there. So just some levels of interest. Resistance at the ADR high, which is this like supply here, and you've got support down here. Monthly pivot is one five seven nine three. And SLC is really, really far apart. <laughs> um, one six three ten and one four eight four five. So uh, they're very risk averse. I think they're getting fed up with being chopped up. Uh, volume node is there, so um, they did quite well from that move. Uh, yeah, two hundred pip move, and then they sold it. So you know we should be coming up really. Uh, sentimentally it should be coming up if we go above monthly pivot 15793 then you know it's going to cement the deal and we are 50 50 as you see um, yeah if this comes up we're going to be risk off potentially if this comes down it's going to be um, risk on 
the fact that the euro and Aussie, the Aussie is riskier than the euro, so this is a great risk proxy. Okay, so keep an eye on that level and gold, and then we'll wrap up. Uh, whoa, that's my alarm. <laughs> God, that was noisy. Um, so gold H4, 1802, SOC is 1800, exactly on the dot, and the one below is 1780 we are a sell so I'd be very surprised to see this do well however they might push price up in order to short it for Wednesday because the inflation data is gonna really uh, rock the commodity space if we have a peak in inflation then it could uh, indicate a big like warning sign for gold and precious metals and oil and things like that um, a lot of the commodities they weren't um, parabolic on the high inflation it was just uh, it just really went out of hand got out of control um, so I think if this comes up then it will be fundamentally uh, a case for a sell uh, on Wednesday so but we are a sell at the high level and we're blown monthly pivot all right and um, tomorrow's video I think we'll talk about the um, the DWM and the PATI indicator. So this is US 500, and um, you know we're going to be strong. We're looking left to supports, right? You not you don't really want to sell it. You want to look to buy. And uh, don't forget your monthly pivot, four six nine four. So put an alert on your trading view for that level. I think we should really come above, and um, you know because it's just a ridiculously strong. <laughs> index you don't really want to fight that <laughs> you know if you look at that you wouldn't want to sell that really um, so that's that so just bear in mind that we've got the monthly quarter yearly open is up here if we go up above monthly pivot we could potentially test that yearly open level come down and get support and then we could potentially bounce right so uh, keep an eye on that monthly pivot so um, I'll be back again later and uh, I'll be back tomorrow with a video and we can wrap up and see what happened with today.